Welcome to our walk-around module. I'm now going to talk about our new compact track loader. We brought here our 289C, and we're specifically going to do a walk-around of the track itself, this new product. The first thing I'm going to talk about is probably one of the main differentiators on this machine. What you can see here, located here, and in this area, are torsion axles. We've got two torsion axles on, on each side, which means four torsion axles. Those are going to give you the best ride in the industry. It's actually a rubber track with steel bars embedded inside the track. And the way it works is that those steel, the, the sprocket located in that area, is going to plug into the track and create traction. This is how it works. It's a fairly simple but efficient system. The track itself is, uh, we've got a special tread pattern on the track here. We basically have probably the best balance out there in the market between flotation and traction with that tread pattern. Something very important to uh, be aware of. This is a good, good quality track and it should give you very good durability as well on this machine. Now, I'd like to talk a little bit about the sprocket itself. You can see how it's bolted on here. So that's, that's the part that you will change when you change the track. Usually, you change the track at the same time as your sprocket. There is something important to be aware of. It's because we, we, the track itself is longer than on competition. It's actually 10% longer. So for any given uh, distance you travel, the steel bars within, uh, within the track are going to meet that sprocket 10% less time. So at the end of the day, I'll get 10% less wear out of the track because of a longer track. The other thing is, because it's a longer track, you'll have better stability, more flotation as well. So it's really three benefits there from, that, from having a longer track. The other thing I like to um, talk about is um, the motor we use. We've got a two-speed motor in the machine that will allow us to have two-speed standard and have the fastest compact track loader in the market with 8.5 miles per hour as a maximum speed. The other thing we've got planetary reduction final drive will get good benefits in terms of um, torque from that final drive. I'd like to talk a little bit about um, the idlers and the way we design those idler, idlers and the way it's basically set up on that track. What you can find here is uh, what we call a single flange idler in the back and in the front we've got a dual flange idler. What happens with a single flange idler is that it's going to be steel on steel wear. So it means it's going to be better for durability if anything gets between the idler and those steel cables in the track, both of those parts are going to survive uh, pretty, pretty well. However, so it's better for durability. The dual flange idler, because it's steel, it really sits on the rubber of the track, so if anything gets into it, it could affect a little bit the life of your track. Now, it gives you a much better ride. So usually when you use those machines, you turn with them, a lot of material gets ingested in, inside the back of the track, which means that it's much better to have a single flange idler at the back for your durability and a dual flange idler at the front because it's going to give you a much better ride. So we chose to go with the best of both worlds, really. Our competitors are not doing that. Bobcat's got single flange idlers front and back, and Deer's got dual flange idlers front and back. Now, I'd like to move on to the mid wheels here. You've got five mid wheels on both sides, so 10 total. They are steel rollers, really. So it's not going to be like a multi-turn loader where you probably change them, will not change them as often as a multi-turn loader, and you will probably change them as a package. 
in the mid wheels as well as in the front and rear idlers, uh, you'll find a technology we've used on uh, larger equipment track type tractors. It's the metal fail seals. The metal fail seals are a much more durable methodology or technology than, our tra than the traditional leaf seals. Another thing that is really interesting in, in the way the system works, it's a triple flange uh, roller. So the outside part of uh, those rollers sit on the track. The middle part is used really as a way to guide the track. And it doesn't touch the track itself. It's more for guiding purpose. Interesting design we adopted with the scallop clean-out design here. It allows you to have more room for material to shed out when you use your machine, but also for cleanup purpose. You can clean up much, it's much more, uh, it's much easier to clean up around the wheels. Here, behind this plate, you find the grease tensioner. By removing this plate, you can put grease in to, to tension your track, and if you want to detension your track, you release grease. You let grease go, and it will do the job for you. Very simple system. The last thing I'd like to add, I haven't mentioned that before, of course, the compact track loader is a C-series machine. It's got all the benefits of C-series. One of them is electrohydraulic control. You get the same benefits that you have on any C-series machine. You get straight line tracking. So it's very good. It's very productive. You just put your joystick forward, and you basically go straight. So it's a good benefit to be aware of. Now, as a conclusion, I like to say this is a very simple and efficient system. If you think about what I mentioned, you've got very good differentiation and value built in the features and benefits. You get great suspension from uh, the four torsion axles. You get a good combination of durability and ride comfort between the idler setup we chose. And um, also you get the two-speed motor, which will allow you to be extremely productive with this new machine. Thank you very much.